The Martin Luther King holiday weekend is a very pivotal and powerful time. Dr. King talked about the importance of us getting together as all of humanity. We're in a brand new year, very different year, a year in which so much is going on. This will be the year that is so pivotal in all of our lives. It's time for the people of faith, the people of God to come together. We have a powerful opportunity on Friday, January the 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. I'll be preaching at Temple Beth Or. You know Temple Beth Or and Rabbi Lucy Dinner. It's the place where we began our time of fellowship and worship as a congregation. We spent three years at Temple Beth Or as God was preparing us for ministry before we moved into this facility. We keep that relationship growing and keep it thriving. We invite you to come and celebrate with us. I'll be preaching on January the 13th, Friday evening at Temple Beth Or, located at 5315 Creepmore Road. The Fountain Singers will be singing and we'll have a powerful time of fellowship and sharing. After that service is over, we'll get a chance to break bread to get a chance to know one another. And then Rabbi Dinner will be celebrating with us. We thank God for you. Come and be with us on Friday, January the 13th at Temple Beth Or at 7 o'clock p.m. for their Sabbath service at 5315 Creepmore more road. God bless you and I'll see you there. We are kicking off our Baptist Bill 2017. The Raleigh Baptist Association along with the Wake Missionary Baptist Association, our church is involved in that as well. We're going to be building a new Habitat house. We're so excited about that. We invite you to please sign up. You can go to the website or please see Sister Cynthia Cooper or Sister Michelle Curtis. Both of them are heading this endeavor again. We invite you to sign up and participate. We're gonna be kicking this off on the Martin Luther King holiday weekend. On January the 14th, we're gonna have the wall raising ceremony. It's a time when we invite all of you to come and share with us. And we're so excited that on that Sunday, January the 15th, the actual birth date of Martin Luther King, here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, we'll be having a time of worship and kicking it off with all the rest of the churches that are involved. The Fountain Singers will be singing. We'll have a community choir. We invite you to come and be a part of that. During that holiday weekend, it's a time that you and I can get together with people that we normally see and people that we don't see. The dream of Martin Luther King was that for all of us to come together and to celebrate Christ and the goodness of the Lord and what he has shown to us. We invite you to come back and celebrate with us on Sunday, January the 15th at 2.30 p.m. right here in our place of worship. Come on and be a part of that. You know, the kingdom is all about building the kingdom of God as we talk about in heaven. But God wants us to do some earthly building. The Bible tells us that we should take care of those who are the less fortunate. We have an opportunity to put people in homes who would not normally have a home. So help us build the kingdom of God in heaven as well as build places for people to dwell on earth. God bless you. You know the parable in the Bible where God disperses and gives to all of us talents and skills and capability. You know, you are so very talented and gifted. God gave all of us a precious gift. At the moment of salvation, we receive the empowerment of the Holy Spirit as well as God gave us a gift. God wants us to use our gifts. I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you. I want to invite you to be a part of the ministry that we're doing here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We've been ministry partners and it's now time for us to engage our gifts into doing what God has called us to do. This year of 2017 is a very critical and pivotal year. It's the year in which I believe that you and I should be sharing our faith like never before, but demonstrating it in word as well as deed. I invite you to use your gifts, your ministry, use your time, use your talent, and use your treasure as we try to build the kingdom of God on earth as it will be in heaven. You know, Jesus encourages us to go out and to do the work of ministry. We have some work we have to do here and work we have to do outside in the world. So I invite invite you as you're sitting there in your seat, as you're watching this video, I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you. Use what God has given to you. The parable teaches us that if we're not faithful stewards over what God gives to us, if we bury it, you know what God is going to do. He's going to say, give it back because you never used it. The Bible says he tells to those persons who didn't use their gifts, depart from me because I didn't know you. You know, to know God, means not only to have a personal relationship with him, but we relate with others. We invite you to get your personal relationship right with God as you would have it. Let's get the vertical and the horizontal together so we can have it right with God and right with one another. Be a part of what we're doing. There is room for you here at the fountain. Come on and celebrate with us what God is doing here and in your life as well.